and the picturesque coastline of the Black Sea. This now famous sporting destination welcomes F2's absorbing title battle. Welcome to round 11 of the season. This is the penultimate feature race of the year. And on the back row of the grid, you can see him there in the yellow overalls. He was taking part, Artem Markov, in Formula One free practice one. Racing in Formula One free practice one earlier on. This is on board with Artem Markov. He's gone from 19th to 9th. Breeze on by, they're engulfing Latifi. The soft tyre is the tyre to be on, and Artem Markalov was going a second and a half quicker than the race leader last time around. Latifi just about managed to slow it down. These two guys are on the same strategy. They can't afford to trip over each other, and we're on board with the driver who's suffering with degradation. Obviously, all of the runners on the super soft are. And Markalov took the, took the position of Lando Norris. It was not expecting this difference about, in terms of performance with the soft tires. Look, Markelov out. through and taking the position away to take fourth. And there is nothing that the super soft runners can do. And how reminiscent is this of what we saw in Monza a few weeks ago? The alternate strategy is working. And it's working very well because so look, much I... more performance. Nick DeFries is in the 158s. The guys on the soft tyre in the 156s. And here comes Artem Markov as he takes it up to 186 miles an hour. That's 300 kilometers an hour as he goes through turn number one. Oh, they are tight. But seems oh, he couldn't use the DRS because also Albert was. And then late on the brakes to finally take the position. And he manages to get through with that tyre performance in a much better... He was doing a 159. Antonio Fuoco was uh, in a second place, 157.1. So it's to freeze. Fuoco, Markalov now up to third position. You are hearing that correctly. He started 19th six laps ago, and now he can see the race lead. Okay, all options are going to box this lap. All options will box this lap. Just walk ahead. He's getting closer. He's now first, and Markalov trying to get past as well. De Vries won't know what hit him. He's trying to go around the outside. This turns into the chicane. Will he? Oh, will he yield? He's leaving a little bit of room, and he's up to second place. Hold the mode on easy on the PlayStation as the guys who started on the Red Wall Super Soft come into the pits at the earliest possible occasion. And Markalov, he's in the slipstream. It seems impossible by his standards. This is absolutely out. Outrageous. He's got the DRS. Can he take the lead of his home race? Having started on the back row, he can. points for the fastest lap. He cannot win the title today. This was Artem Markalov on the opening lap. This was to get himself up to ninth position. Nicely done. Was he done? No, he was not. This was racing into. Uh, he's getting past Russell there, the championship leader in a similar position. And this was him managing to barge past Aitken. Remember. Markalov had started 19th. That is magical. Nine. Sorry, that is magical. On the outside of a great driver, as De Vries, he gave him the chance to be first after only three laps. That was magical. And this, well, he wouldn't have dreamt of this. He couldn't have dreamt of this. But there he is. Listen to the roar of the crowd as well as they see 